Ten peace be unto you from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. Amen. Welcome. Happy Thursday, everybody. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. Um, press like and subscribe to the Voice of the Prophet and share. Amen. We're going to talk today. Um, Wednesday, we left Don't Believe the Lies. Today, we're going to talk about live a complete life to God. Amen. We're going to read from um, Jeremiah 7, verse 4 and 5, and maybe 8 and 9. Verse 8 and 9. We're going to do that, too. So Jeremiah, you know, touched on it. We said, trust you not in lying words to say the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the, temp the temple of the Lord are these, right? So Jeremiah said in verse 5, if you thoroughly amend your ways. So you look at thoroughly means completely. So the people was half living, half doing what they need to do for the Lord. So meaning half living is like, like I was saying from the beginning, they went to bow worship and they served God. It was like, well, as long as I'm serving God, there's nothing wrong with me I'm going to kill my children to Baal or whatever Baal is, you know. And Baal is a different God. And then we won't get into this. But God, Baal is a different God. He was an ancient God. Probably um, an angelic being. That was his name called Baal. In which they worship in the old days and this and he's still worshiping now matter of fact he's in manhattan and um Baal is uh andromedus meaning that he's neither male nor female he has a breast and he may have a half thing of a goat and a sign so he's really neither male nor female he's a transgenderism so those are the spirit that's moving and those are the same thing we're worshiping them. Let me tell you something. When we move into those things, homosexuality and transgenderism and all these other things that's going on, that's a worship of Baal because that's who he is. See, you have to study to show yourself a proof. All these things that's happening now and the people doing it, even if they're aware of it or not, that's a worship of Baal. So we see now the worship of Baal is a compromise. It's a halfway thing. But it's saying this, so the people was going to go and worship Baal and, you know, be under the tree, whatever they do under the tree, burning incense to these other gods. And then after that, they come to the church and, and lift up their hands towards the Lord. That's the worst kind of adultery. That's the worst kind of treason that you can ever have. Amen. Praise the Lord. So God said, if you thoroughly execute judgment, between a man and his neighbor, right? If you do it completely, now, now, now look at this, verse six, it, if you oppress not the stranger, the fathers and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your heart. You see that, right? They were walking, they were treating people wrong. What's the point of, of um, coming to church and you don't know how to love your brothers and sisters and you don't know how to treat people right. And you don't know how to love people right. You don't know how to care about them. You don't know how to serve them. A lot of people are suffering. Oh, I love you, sister. No, man. Use your spiritual gifts to really discern certain things. To look after people. To love. Let me tell you, everybody has something to give. You may not have money. You have time. You have uh, 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 the, the patience of listening. And anything you can give to people. Anything you can give unto the Lord. And if you oppress not the strength of the fathers and the widow, who's the widow? Um, those who have a husband. Um, do we go around, give them a little bucks? Sometimes a widow don't mean they have a dead husband, but they have an absent husband. Do we help them? Do we help them? And shed not innocent blood in this place. Neither walk after other gods to hurt. Then he says this, then I will cause you Open the door. Then I will cause you to dwell in this place and the land which I give to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Right? Will you still murder? Tell them to close the door. Will you still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods to whom you know not? You see that, right? Will you still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods whom you know not. 
So you see that he was saying, completely come to a place of washing yourself. Completely come away from those things. And guess what happened? One of the things uh, the Bible said, if you cleanse yourself and purify yourself, I will receive you. Amen. If you cleanse yourself from worshiping these other things, you cleanse yourself from treating people right and loving people, then guess what I will do? I will receive you. And he said, then you be, you know, uh, 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 you be my people and I will be your God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I pray the word bless you. I pray the word strengthen you. I pray that uh, we learn to live a complete life before God, totally and wholly. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. Amen. I have one thing to say to you. Jesus is Lord. God bless you.